Before we get started click the link in the description below to see what helps me manifest my goals in life. One of the most challenging things about manifesting our desires to reality is letting what we want go. To manifest, ask. You must want it badly enough. But oh, by the way, don't forget to detach. Obsess over it but not too much or you resist it. Wah. How does one do that? How can you want it so much but at the same time let it go? We have our tithing envelopes at church which are fillable forms as well. One is for your prayers, and then the next is for gratitude. It's more of a self-exercise and mindset work instead of giving tithes for my prayers. Yesterday, I caught myself writing the same thing as I did two weeks ago. I couldn't drop the envelope because there was a little nudge in me that reminded me of letting go. The version of myself who already has that won't write the same thing anymore, would she? Realizing I was only creating more absence by asking again, I went ahead and grabbed a new envelope to ask for guidance with my final exams instead. It was what inspired me to write this post. So what exactly is letting go? How does one let go if in order for something to manifest, you must ask and visualize it again and again? The process of manifestation is to ask, believe and receive. Sometimes, we want things so badly to happen that we get too attached to it. By asking repeatedly, we're basically saying that we lack that thing over and over. We unconsciously magnify more of the absence. Think about it, someone who already has it wouldn't ask for it, they wouldn't worry about it nor would they obsess over having it because it is already true for them. Let's take money for example. When you have it, you don't go around worrying whether or not it will be there when you reach for your wallet because you know it's there. When you have it, wanting it is not something that's on your mind 24-7, you think about other things. You go around your day and focus on other things. Once you've ordered something online, you know it's gonna come. So you don't go around every day ordering for the same thing because you know yours is on its way. Right? When we're constantly thinking about these desires, our thoughts most of the time turn into those of lack and impatience. We resist the process with our feelings of frustration. What we focus on expands and if we focus on not having it, it won't manifest into our physical reality. The universe doesn't filter our thoughts, it does not distinguish the negative from the positive and if we keep on thinking about wanting it, we will only attract more of that absence because that's what we focus on. We will stay on only wanting it. Letting go is a way of showing our faith. When we are so attached to our desires, our thoughts turn into feelings of dissatisfaction which in turn makes it so hard to practice gratitude, the most important part in the law of attraction. We'll find it hard to be thankful when our focus is on asking because we believe that we don't have it yet. And then before we know it, we're on a rabbit hole of negativity. I used to ask for things in a way that reflects desperation, impatience and feeling sorry for myself for not having it yet. I wondered, why I SNT here yet? Why is it so hard to have it? They said ask and I shall receive so why don't I have it yet? Only when I learned to really let go, trust, and focus on feeling good because I act as if I already have it did things started to fall into place. The only rule to the law of attraction is you have to feel good. How great is that? Don't make it hard for yourself. Keep yourself in the vibration of already having it, of being excited of it coming without worrying about the when and the how. That is not for you to figure out. Detachment is a way of telling the universe, I know you will deliver. It is a powerful way of practicing your faith because manifesting requires a ton of belief. Letting go is something between believing and receiving process when you let go, you believe that you've received it already and you don't have to ask for it again. You just have to believe that the universe, God, the divine, whatever you call it, will always deliver. ISNT it beautiful to think that God will always have our back and work behind the scenes for us. We just have to trust. There's no need to worry that the universe will mistake your detachment as forgetting it or not wanting it anymore. It knows the desires of your heart. Surrender. And go on and feel good. If you found this video helpful please subscribe to help support this channel.